Happy Halloween, you spooky fucks! Okay, well, it, it's like a couple days after Halloween. I know I'm late. I got that. What happened was Friday rolled around, got distracted by a bunch of stuff, didn't have time to record. The next day, I had to go help someone out. Then fucking Halloween rolls around, and I'm like, I'll do it on Halloween. That'll be cool. And then Halloween stuff happened. Didn't get home early enough. Kaput. So the next day, just ignored it. Today, here we are. We're going to do this today. I know. I'm bad. I'm really bad. So um, we're going to start this game called The Convenience Store, which I downloaded from Steam. I don't remember how long ago. Don't even remember if I paid for it. It might have been free. I don't remember. But anyway, we're going to play it. Uh, there will be links to the game below, so you can check that out on your own if you want to. You'll have to forgive me. I kind of had the sniffles because a few moments ago, my cat Mango thought it'd be real cool to just uh, claw me in the eyes. And for some reason, I have the sniffles from that. So, But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. Whoa. This volume probably needs to be brought down, so give me a second here. Uh, I mean, you don't see any of this. Uh, all you see is the game. Ooh. I'm using Radeon Relive. It's very bare bones, unfortunately. Um, also, did the game just freeze? Oh, shit. I think it might have. No? Oh, yep. Okay, give me just a second here. There we go. Let's chuck that volume down. It is time. It's time. Need to get ready for work. Okay, wazd. Gotcha. Ooh, ooh, very slow. Oh my god, can we turn that up any? Mouse sensitivity, yes, thank you very much. Alright, this is an interesting, uh... Oh, now there's more controls. Flashlights, F, drop is Q, run is shift. Gotcha. Uh, is it just escape to go back? Oh, that's much better, but my, my mouse wasn't locked for some reason. Slept well? Oh, okay. Hello, mouse thing. How do I how do I interact with you? I can't. Oh, that's for the door. Ooh, these controls are kind of weird. They like have a little bit of play to them. It's it's really strange. Got to bring flashlight. All right. Well, let's. Why do I have two fridges? I have a fridge here, and then there's a fridge here. Is this my room also? Yeah, this is my house, I guess, because there's a bathroom and a washing room. What a strange apartment this is. Change clothes, I guess. I don't know what I'm changing into or from, but, uh, you know, whatever. I'm gonna move the mic a little bit upward. There we go. Uh, it's dark outside. It sure is. Where do I find the flashlight, then? Everything's so freaking dark. Jeez. Isn't there a brightness option? There is a brightness option. Oh, that didn't help any, really. Every time I go into options, it, it unlocks my mouse from the window. Which is a little strange, but whatever. You know. Um. Uh, I think the game lied to me because I can't shift to run. Pick up flashlight. Yes, there we go. What's in here? Nothing? Okay, well, let's go down here. I guess. I need to eat something, change, and grab a flashlight before it. Well, I already changed and grabbed a flashlight. Yeah, holding shift doesn't actually allow me to run. What, can I eat these? I can't get out here. Interact is left mouse button. I'm doing that, but I'm not getting anything out of anything. Um, can I eat the mouse? Squirrel? It's a squirrel, I think. I can't lift things. I'm not sure. Okay, there we go. Yes, meat. Or something. Warm it up. Yes. Shut the door right quick because I'm not a savage. No offense to those of you that leave your fridge doors open, I guess. Look at that, it's almost midnight. Yay. God, this apartment sucks. Like, I've lived in some shitty places, but this, this is kind of a shitty place. Like, 
Why is this designed this way? Where like the bathroom is in its own little room, but the door has a glass window? That's uh, that's weird. Also, there's no shower, is there? Eat bento, yes. Eat the whole box, not just the stuff inside. Eat the bento. All right, now I guess I can leave. There we go. Okay. Well, this place is weird. What is this? Like a, a highway or something up there? What What is this exactly? There's just a big stone wall right next to my house. Oh, there we go. Now shift lets me run. Uh, so the name of this game is the convenience store. So I assume that's where we're headed is a convenience store. I think I can see the glow from it over there. So. Well. No, I guess I can't get down there. Okay. This is some weird, like, structure here. Some weird buildings. These little bitty houses or little sheds or whatever they are, just like on these stilts. It's very strange. But I guess when you run out of room and you have to build stuff somewhere, you, you know, you have to build it somewhere, so... Maybe this is normal architecture. I've just never seen it before. I've never seen architecture like this before. It's very strange to me. Also, in case anyone else is wondering, that blur is intentional. You're not just crazy. Unless there's no blur and I'm just crazy. I think there's a blur. I hope this is the right way also, because uh, I have no clue if I'm actually going the right way. I think this just leads outside the city. Oh no, this leads to the convenience store, good. Hello, convenience store. I'm here for something. I don't know what, but I'm here for it. Oh, is that a person? Hello, person. Oh, hello. Whoa, okay. I know what really happened here. I was called to warn you all. By the name I cannot speak of. The day of judgment will come. Yeah! Good, good. Uh, okay. That's probably a stern warning that I should leave, but uh, at the same time, I'm like, that dude's just crazy. Ooh, what are these? Little dough balls? So what exactly am I here for? Are these magazines? I thought it was albums at first. Can I go in the bathroom? I can go in the bathroom. Hey, ah. Okay. What? Oh, okay. Is it an automatic toilet, or is it a ghost? Thank you for always keeping the toilet clean. Oddly convincing. I guess it is just an automatic toilet. Alright. Alrighty. I'll leave the door open in case someone else needs to go in. Man, this place is filthy. Rabby carrot juice. I've been drinking only that recently. Highly recommended. Okay, can I go in here? I shouldn't be going in here, but I'm going in here anyway. Then again, this is probably like the beer cooler, you know? And if you don't know what a beer cooler is, it's it's a big walk-in, essentially, freezer section where the beer is stored. Where, uh, you know, if they have excess beer in the back that they don't have advertised up front, you can go and check it out. What's this? What's, what's this, also? Subsequently, uh, nothing. I can't interact with it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is. I can't do anything about it. Let's go check out this. Maybe I'm supposed to move that over here and then jump over or something. I don't think there's actually a jump command though. I uh, I can't do anything here. I'm gonna go back in the convenience store because uh, I didn't really do much in there. I just kind of wound up out here. Whoa. Looks like summer expired. Well, it is a convenience store. That doesn't make sense. The shelf looks fine. Oh my god, there's so much to explore. The shelf looks fine. The shelf looks fine. Same messages over and over again. Uh, I got an achievement for looking at stuff that was expired. Take items off the shelf. 
Hello, can I buy this, please? No, maybe these go outside? Enter counter, yes. Okay. Don't think I'm supposed to be back here, but you know, whatever. Q to drop item. What is this? I think some food are expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelves for me? Your manager. Do I work here? Use CCTV. Okay. Maybe I work here? Maybe that's what's going on? Can I move this? Oh, I can move this. Nice. A very Five Nights at Freddy's of you. Okay, the guy's still there. That's good. He's not a ghost. He didn't disappear. I'm not really sure why I should be looking through the camera right now, so let's, uh, let's get out the camera, I guess. Hmm. What is this, exactly? I, I don't know what that is. Maybe I'm supposed to take these out back to the trash? You know, I don't really want this, but at the same time I do. I kind of wish that this was uh, just a simulation for working at a gas station, but it tricks you into thinking it's a horror game. That'd be pretty funny. I'd be mad, but that'd be pretty funny. Even if it is at my expense, it'd still be pretty funny. Alright, let's take these off the shelf and go throw them away. There we go. Trash expired food for joy. That's kind of unfortunate that these trash cans are like back behind a wall. Because I know some places when their food expires they'll actually take it and put it in a box. And then they'll like set it on top of the trash for people to take. At least where I'm from that's how gas stations do it. Because I know a lot of the time the food... They literally just have to throw it away as soon as it expires, even if it's not particularly bad. Which is real unfortunate, because it seems like a big waste of food, you know? Yeah, I'll give it a try. He says. I don't know who Senku is, but okay. Let's see, is there any more expired food I need to take out? I don't think there is over here. I should turn the flashlight off. I doubt it has a battery, but I still feel like I'm wasting it. Oh, that's me. <laughs> oh my god, there's a little sushi section. That's cool. I wonder if that's common in Japan. Like if convenience stores in Japan have like little sushi things like that. Oh my god, you made it, hmm? Oh no, it's just that I recently heard someone had fell off the bridge you just crossed. There was an old lady that said she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. That's unfortunate. <laughs> if only this was a true story. Ha ha, ha, sorry. Okay. I guess I do work here then and I'm not just wandering around. What is this thing? I would really like to know. Oh, it's a punch card. Whoops, I've been doing all this work for no, for like no reason. Okay. Okay, so that guy's leaving now. I guess that means I have to stay here? Can I leave the... Yeah, I can exit the thing, but maybe I shouldn't. Man, I feel like working in a convenience store late at night would be kind of scary, to be honest. Like, I wouldn't want to do it. Oh, here comes a customer. Cool. But yeah, I mean, like, you could get robbed, you'd be all alone for a long time, you know. God, guy, can you walk any slower? Hello. Walk 
welcome to my convenience store where we sell outdated food for your pleasure. Maybe I should watch the camera? Yes, yes, mm hmm. The man, the world's slowest man. Where is he going? What is he doing? Yep, there, there he goes. I guess I should. Go up to the counter. Uh, escape? I, I can't leave the camera all of a sudden? Okay, there we go. That was weird. Hello, sir! Beep. Am I a woman? I mean, that voice sounded very feminine. What's that? There was a, like a circle spot over here at the edge of the counter. Maybe I was supposed to hit it from inside the counter? I don't know, you'd think there'd just be a thing to like, walk out of the counter without having to fucking... No, it's outside. Thirteen bucks an hour night shift. This is the reason why I'm here. So this game must be kind of outdated because that's not a whole lot of money. It's uh, two dollars more than minimum wage here in America. Oh, excuse me. What do I do now? Do I just wait on more customers, or I already took the trash out, so. Ah, another customer. No. Ghost door? Okay. You can you can stop now, door. I don't know if it's a glitch or if it's intentional. I wonder if that guy's still here. Oh, he is. Bring me food, or you will receive eternal punishment. Okay. I mean, I guess I could... Oh, what is that? Is that a car? I hope that's a car, otherwise it's just a big ball of light moving down the highway. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a semi-truck. I saw the trailer first, I didn't even see the truck part. Oh god, here he comes. Is he dropping off something, or... Oh, good driving guy, Jesus. Hello. Oh, I guess he's got to go inside before I can get the box. This guy just says the same thing, so. Yes, welcome to the convenience store. G give me your box. It's a very shitty looking box. It's kind of late for a delivery man at this time, huh? We've recently incorporated this system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to this store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. Think this is for you. Receive? Yes. Take it home. Yes? That's not a good noise. Oh, oh okay. I guess I'm home now. Whoa. Microwave, why? What are you doing? My microwave is haunted. Yeah, I'm, it's, I put it in there. I want to watch it, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, there's not 
something in the microwave. Good, good. Okay. I have to sneeze. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, man. That was awful. Um, move, move, please. Thank you. This is a weird little kitchen s or kitchenette or whatever you call it. Uh, okay, so that was that, I guess. I don't know why I didn't have the flashlight again, but I'd also like to know what that door leads to, but I guess I'll never find out because I'm not allowed to. Now there's definitely nothing in the microwave. Alright, so I guess we're just going back to the convenience store then for another not-so-spooky night, maybe? I'm going to close this door and this door. Man, one of those swings out, the other one swings in. That's annoying. Alrighty, let's head, Fred. Oh, what? Okay. First night. Oh, okay. God, it's, is it me or is it dark as fuck out here all of a sudden? It wasn't this dark before, was it? Jeez. Fuck, man, it is it is dark as hell. I can barely see the convenience store. I, I'm not even sure how the fuck I got to where I was to begin with, so... I know it was all the way down here. Somewhere. Knock, knock, knock. Here we go. Here's some stairs. And there should be some right on the right, right? Right! God, it's fucking dark, though. I can't see a thing. this wait a minute isn't this no I don't know I don't know where the hell I am it's too dark knock knock oh, this is unfortunate <laughs> this is very unfortunate <laughs> I feel like this next part's just gonna be me wandering around in the dark for 20 minutes Okay, wait a minute. No, that's not right. Okay. Okay. So, the bridge... Wait a minute, is this the bridge? The bridge has to be somewhere close, because I could see that drop-off. Well, what is this? Oh, it's a laundry pole thing, I think. Okay. God, it's, it's way too dark. It, it is extremely dark. And I can't see a fucking thing. This flashlight helps 0%. It, it helps a negative percent. Oh, did I find it finally? Please. Yes, finally. And if that guy's still out here, it doesn't look like it. Thank God this convenience store is lit up like a Christmas tree. Open up, bitch. Hey, hey. So I heard you reported that the doors would open on their own. Well, we got a guy to check the sensor, and it seems like the wirings were loose. Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist? I see those on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. You know, those damn ghosts reading from a script. Ghosts aren't real, after all, is what this guy is saying, but I don't know about that. Otherwise, this game wouldn't be tagged as horror, probably. All right. We'll check that in first. That way we can get to work. Alright, I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin open. That was probably me. The first person to see this note has got to get rid of the rodents ASAP. Your manager. That's bullshit! That guy obviously saw the note first. Fucker. Alright. Let's, uh, let's check the CCTV. See if we can see any rats. Okay. Oh, there's a guy creepily standing out there for some oh it's a woman with a walker god damn it i'm sorry <laughs> whoops oh the fucking trash is knocked over what the hell okay so let's go pick up the trash right quick while that woman gets inside the store i guess uh camera 
the hell is that? The hell is that? Okay, the camera just likes to close when it wants to, which is weird, but... I guess we'll wait on this old lady right quick first. You know, since she's right outside the door now. And there's a car in the parking lot, I think? Oh no, I guess they were just turning around. Okay. But we'll wait on this lady first. You know. Because we're... I'm a gentleman, you know? I don't mind waiting on people. Oh. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad she used her door phasing technique to just go right through the door. Oh, God. This is going to take forever, though. Uh, you know what? While she's in here, I'm going to go pick up the trash right quick. It can't take too long, right? Maybe I can talk to her, though. Let's, let's try talking to this old lady who's walking through objects. Nope, can't say anything. Oh, well, let's go pick up the trash. Ah, mouse! Hello. Hello, little rat friend. I don't mind rats. Rats are cool. I like rats. Hmm. How do I fix this situation? These rats sure are friendly. They're not running away or anything. Alright, I guess I'll go back inside now because that woman's probably done by this point in time, I imagine. Oh, what's this? Uh, is this mouse killing spray? What is this? Okay, it's mouse deterrent, I guess. Or rat deterrent. I don't see six rats. Like, I saw like three rats, so I don't know where the other rats are. There's one. They in the bucket? In the boot? Well, oh, there's one. I hope this is just rat deterrent and not like rat killing spray, because I don't like to see animals get hurt. Man, animals didn't do anything wrong. Well, I'm the one who put that trash there, you know? There's one. And there's the last one. Did that woman just leave without paying for her shit? I bet she just did. I almost guarantee you that woman just left. Unless she just came in, used the bathroom, and left. I'm not sure. I guess. Oh, there's a guy in here. I guess I could open the bathroom and see if she's in there. Well, she must be in there because the door's not opening now. Alright, guy, hang on, I'm coming. Uh, yes? Whoa! Okay. Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigar? Hurry up. Okay. Do it yourself. Yeah? That's what I'm feeling. Fuck this guy. I mean, I don't know. He could be a cool guy. I don't know. Alright. Beer. I'm in the beer cooler. Where's the beer? I just saw beer, but it will not let me pick it up. Five cans of beer, you ask. Okay, here's one. Let me bring one at a time for you. There you go. I mean, this lady's job seems like it sucks, but, uh... She's doing really bad at her job. Tell me I just picked them all up, please. That'd make this so much easier. Oh, my gosh. Who... Who takes things like this? Who delivers stuff like this? Oh, fuck. Did I just softlock myself? I think I might have softlocked myself. Um, That's not good. Because I did hear it pick up multiple times. Maybe I can press Q to drop what I picked up, even though I didn't technically pick it up. Oh, there they are. Okay. Cool. Every time I picked one up, it just dropped one. All right. Cool, cool, cool. We're not soft locked, thank God. I would hate to have to restart this entire game. Not because it'd be like, you know, it, it would just take up time. You know, that's the thing. I don't mind replaying it, but I really don't want to have to waste the time replaying it, you know. Not that I didn't enjoy it so far, but. 
Oh god, there's one missing? That's not good. Okay. Gotta find that last beer. I can't just grab another one. So it's gotta be here somewhere. Maybe I did soft lock myself? That wouldn't be cool. Oh, maybe the last one is the cigars. Maybe that's what the last thing is. So let's get the cigars. There we go. Good, now scan. Tell me what to do, you punk. Thank you. Get the fuck out. I wonder if that old lady's still in the bathroom. Oh, yep, here she comes. Slowly. Extremely slowly. Check the CCTVs again. And that milk carton or whatever that is has been there for a long while. Like, uh... Probably not any good anymore. Whoa, what? Where's the woman at? Alright, can cancel. Escape right quick, please. Please. Let me out. Is she just standing there? Maybe she needs help with something. No wonder I couldn't see her on the camera. She's just standing still. She's not even moving. Hello, ma'am. What do you require? Huh? Where's Ken Coon? You know where Ken Coon is? Thought I heard his voice. This was my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you? Oh. Okay. That was, that was a weird interaction. Oh my god. Animu. Anyway. Look, look at the animu girl eating ice cream. So that was a bizarre interaction. I wonder if that guy's still outside. I think I asked that already, and he wasn't. Yeah, he's not there now. Maybe that was Ken Coon? I don't know. I don't know who Ken is. Let's see, what did I do last time that progressed the story? I, uh, I don't remember. I'm gonna go check outside right quick, though. I mean, I, I should probably pick this trash up, to be honest. I mean, it's just kind of laying all over the ground. Just because we got rid of the rats doesn't mean they won't be back, you know? I really want to know what's back there. Oh, someone else is in the store! All right, let's go see. But they just walk in and then walk out. Jeez. Stop it. Is it the door again? God damn it. <laughs> Fucking ghost door. Ugh. The worst part about this is that it's annoying. I don't even care if it's possessed. It's just annoying. I'd rather be scared than annoyed. I really would. Like, dude, I would 100% rather be scared than fucking annoyed. Okay, yep, done that already. Okay, so I think the reason that I couldn't close out of... Oh, okay, I got an achievement again. What the fuck was that? Jesus Christ, what was that? That was disturbing. God, now I have to go outside and find out what that was. Okay, here comes that delivery truck again. With his swood driving skills. Fuck that little crouched over goblin looking motherfucker. Okay. Wait, teleport out of your truck there, dude. He doesn't have a package this time. But, uh, that little crouched over goblin looking dude was freaky. I know that. Alright, so next time I see the doors blinking open and shut, I know what to do. I can check the camera to see what it is that's causing them to do that. So that's good. 
Hello, my dude. What's up? Good to see you again. Oh, you know, the unstoppable trend on ordering everything online? Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. Okay. What do you want me to do about it? Seems to be a package that needs to be... Okay, so he wants me to get the package, I guess. I don't know what package he's... Re oh, okay. I don't think that was there a minute ago, but all right. Maybe it was and I just didn't pay attention to it. There you go, my guy. Bye-bye. Thanks for walking through our walls. Okay. Ugh. Yawn. Man, they carry a lot of the same brand of cigarettes. Hmm. What do I do now? Wait for the doors to start freaking out again? You know, anytime I hear elevator-esque music, I always think of Dead Rising, the first one at the shopping mall, um, and the mall music that plays. Like, I played that game a lot as a kid, so that music is, like, ingrained in my head. And anytime I hear anything that's, like, related to it at all, my mind just wanders over to that music. Man, this place is filthy. It really does need cleaned up. But then again, I guess if you're like a little out of the way convenience store, okay. All right. But uh, if you're, okay, I'm back here again. If you're a little out of the way convenience store, you're gonna do one of two things. You're going to, what the hell? Is that dynamite? What the fuck is that? Umbrella, okay. <laughs> Whoops. But anyway, you're gonna be, be one of two types of stores. You're going to either keep excessively clean constantly or you're not going to worry about it, you know? Because why, why would you? If you're out of the way and you barely get any customers, why would you care, you know? But on the other hand, you, hello, you might want to be the type that keeps excessively clean to impress. You know, you, sure, we're a little store, but look at how good we keep the place, you know? Okay, so why do I still have the umbrella I'm indoors? Watch this tape. See what other creepy nonsense is on it. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm in someone's yard, I think. God, I hope it's not going to be as dark again as it was last night tonight. Okay, so I saw what looked like some aloe vera plants. Okay. Alrighty, let's... Uh, wait, can I open the fridge again? Yeah. Open the microwave? Nope, can't do that. Alright, well, it's uh, close enough to midnight, so let's get out to our job, shall we? You know, I take it back. This is kind of a neat little apartment. I would like to know what that other door leads to, but it's still kind of a neat apartment. God, it is dark. I guess I'll just leave the door open. I don't know why anyone would want to steal anything from me anyway. I don't have anything to steal. Man, I guess it was intended to be creepy, but it's mainly just annoying for me that it's this dark. I mean, they're, you know, getting lost in a game is a good thing, but I don't think that they intended that saying to be, you know, in regards to this. Okay. Alright, so I'm on the road, I think. Let's just find the bridge, get to the convenience store. God, this would be awful, wouldn't it? I guess after a week or two, you'd probably get used to it, but this would be an awful thing to have to live with. Like, fucking being in this confusing maze of little structures. Hey, hey guess who found the bridge super easy this time? The answer's me, baby. The water effect is really strange looking. But, you know, whatever. Alright, let's get inside the store and out of the rain. Oh, where's my coworker? 
Is he not here? He's not back here. Oh, God! What the fuck, dude? Fuck you! Yeah, you better fucking stop. I promise I won't do it again. You better not fucking do it again. That's how you get punched in the goddamn face. Jesus. Jump scares. Whatever. They're fine as long as they're not plague. Oh, yeah. Just walk right through that, my guy. Is it raining in here? Why is it raining in here? Okay. It, it looked like it was raining in here. But anyway. You know, jump scares are fine in... You know... In mild doses. Okay. Restock the shelves. But when you have jump scares all over the place, that's what ruins it for me. Personally. It is raining in here. It was. It's weird. Alright, there's some stuff missing from there. I guess the, the stuff would be in the back. So, you know. Okay, here we go. Get this fucking yakisoba looking package on the shelf. Oh, I hear a car. Where the hell does this stuff go? Doesn't go here, that's for sure. That's all just prepackaged, or not prepackaged, it's like pastries and stuff. Man, that's annoying. Yes, there we go. Well, I guess they were potato chips, or whatever these are. I wonder what the blue ones are, what flavor those are like blue potato chips like I can see the green that could be like dill pickle or something the red could be spicy the orange is probably cheese but what are the blue like mint flavored potato chips or something you know that's weird I would try them though I would try them immediately I'm all about trying new shit like I, I love trying new stuff wait a minute what excuse me I guess okay I guess I can walk around the no well, what the fuck? Great. Thank you, ghost. Thanks for fucking with me. Can I get out so I can check the customers, please? I can't see through the beer thing either. Okay, there we go. I'll be with you in just a minute, whoever you are. Got to uh, stock shelves right quick. Okay, it was just the ghost again. Lovely. Oh. Yep, we're getting that water effect in here again. Hello, ghost toilet. Oh, a real person. I was getting ready to go check the cameras, actually, but since it's a real person. I'm Hamada. So there's something wrong with the air conditioning. Your boss seemed desperate in keeping the food fresh. Hate to be working this late, but he pays me as well, you know. Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside units and head right out. Okay. Well, after I get restocked, I'm going to spy on that guy. You know, no, no offense to him, but I want to know what he's doing. Maybe he's a ghost. I don't know. Alright, now these are magazines, I think? No? What are these, then? Where do these go? Shut up, door. I'm busy. So what's missing, then? Oh, there we go. Restock complete. Now let's go spy on that guy using the camera. Hey, there he is. He hasn't even got there yet. He's in stealth position. Well, hey, all the things are broken back there. That's interesting. Maybe I can go back there now. Let's 
switch cameras for a second. Hmm. Maybe I should just go ahead and head back there. Oh no, he's he's coming up. Okay. Kind of weird that they don't have a camera on that side of the building over there. You think that they'd want that, you know? Here comes a car. I don't know if it's for me, but. Well, that lighting effect says that yes, that car is indeed for me. Alright, let's get off the camera. I was making a mistake earlier, by the way. I, uh, what I should have been doing was pressing the left mouse button. But instead, I was pressing escape because that's what I thought worked the first time. Okay. Well, she picked up something. Oh, I guess that guy just left. He didn't even say goodbye. That sucks. Not that I was particularly interested in chatting with him, but, you know, still. Hello, lady. Got quite a bit of shit there in your hand. Hello. She looks polite. I don't know if she is or not, but she looks it. Hey, are you the only one working here? Yes, I am. I can't believe this. What kind of a manager puts a girl on a midnight shift alone? That's sexist, implying I can't take care of this place by myself? Fuck you. I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Now be careful. Oh, okay. Thank you. Sure. Alright. Nice. Nice to have a good luck charm, you know. Alright, now what spooky shit's gonna happen tonight? The scariest thing so far has been the fucking co-worker spooking me. So, you know. It, it was just... It wasn't scary, really, to see that creature thing. It was just more like, oh my god, that's near me? You know, like the realization that that thing could probably be dangerous? Meow, says Mango, who's off camera. I mean, I'm off camera too, but you know, whatever. Mango's here. And for those of you that don't know Mango, he is an orange kitten who uh, lives with me and my sister as we live together. And he is a little monster sometimes. Oh yeah, I could go out there, right. Fuck it, let's go out there. But uh, Mango is a cute little boy, but unfortunately he has this bad habit of trying to claw you in the eyeballs. He, uh, he loves eyes. Whoa, what am I looking at? What, am I, what the hell was that? Did the door just open on its own? Oh, the toilet's doing stuff. Okay. Oh, God damn it. Ugh. Should have known this, or known this was a fucking trap. Let me out. Yeah, I get it, ghost toilet. Thank you. Oh, fucking really? What is with this ghost? What an asshole. Great, now he's clicking on the fucking computer. Oh, can I shut this door? Okay, good. Alright, let's see what spooky shit we can find on the CCTV. Nothing. Okay. Hello. Yep, mm-hmm. All right. Thanks for that. Man, what is the deal with ghosts? Like, why do they all have to be assholes? Also, after that, I wouldn't work here anymore. I'd be like, nope, I'm out. There's a ghost, and I don't like that. Like a talisman's? Fuck no, I don't want to touch those. Fuck that. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Fuck, well, it is gonna happen because I have to progress the game somehow, but fuck me, I don't want to touch those. God damn it. Maybe the mint flavored potato chips will protect me. It's all the talismans I need. 
Oh god, they're in my hands now. What the fuck do I do with them? Drop them. Fuck it, I don't want them. I'm gonna throw them in the trash. Like, seriously, what do you even do in this situation? I mean, I assume that, like, living in Japan, you would know more about this stuff. You know, you, you would have, like, a passing knowledge at least of what to do in this kind of a situation. I'm going over here. Fuck this. I want to find out what's back here. Exercise the door. Yep. Fuck the door. As a ghost. Fuck the ghost door. Alright. There we go. I don't know how this works, really, because the ghost is the one that left the talismans. I don't know how that's going to help fucking keep the ghosts out. But, uh, you know, whatever. Hopefully it works. Hopefully. Being the key word there. Let's get back inside. Especially since I don't have an umbrella. Uh, I absolutely hate the feeling of rain. So, just like, even in video games and stuff, I'm like, ew, I don't want it. Gross. But I, I hate the feeling of rain. It's one of my least favorite sensations. Now... There is, like, a time when I can tolerate it. Like, for instance, I was at the beach uh, a couple weeks ago with some friends. Maybe a month ago. And we were in the lake, and it started raining, and it was okay because we were already wet. You know, it, it wasn't that big a deal. I still didn't like it very much, but it wasn't that big a deal. But any other time when I'm just, like, walking along and it starts raining or it's heavy raining and I have to get through it, I hate it so much. And I don't know why. It's not like I had, like... Uh, an experience in the rain that caused me to hate rain or anything. I just don't like rain. You know? I don't know. Maybe it's just a sensory thing. I'm, I'm big into sensory stuff. I don't know why. You know, fidget toys and... Well, I mean, I, I got an inkling why, but... But, like, fidget toys and kinetic sand and that kind of stuff. Just really... You know, I, I can vibe with it. You know, so to speak. Oh, good. The door's open. And it's... Okay. So what do I do now? I uh, saw the ghost. I exercised the door. I can't pick this stuff up. Otherwise, I would have already. So I don't know what to do. Animu girl, help me, please. Turn my flashlight off. Hello. Goodbye. Hmm. I wonder if this is based on a real time system. It's still midnight by the clock, but uh, you know. Like, spooky stuff happens after an allotted period of time or something. Man, no one buys these cigars. Like, look at all of them on the fucking shelf. Sold one package in, like, three days. Why do we have that many? Also, there's no one in here tonight. This store is dead as hell, dude. I'm gonna go outside and look around. I mean, what else am I doing, right? Just kind of here. Put my flashlight on. Whoa, what? I can't... I can't leave the convenience store right now. Which, I mean, I guess makes sense, but... over here, uh, just the back, just the back area, don't see anything out in the rain, oh, door like teleported open, I can really throw these boxes away, like there's stuff I want to do that I can't do right now, that's bugging me, like these empty boxes that are just trash, I want to throw them away, I don't know if they recycle their boxes or anything. Also, every time I walk out of here and I see that right there, 
It's it 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 doesn't scare me, but it like surprises me. Cause I see that over the shelves, and I'm like, God, is that like a spooky monster or something? Shut up, door. Alright, so what else am I supposed to be doing right now? I already did all this. Or did I? Is there something I missed in the storage room? I don't think so, because I don't think there's anything else missing from the store, but... Alright, so beer, cup noodles, empty box, empty box, empty box. And these are just here. Okay, so I'm not missing anything, as far as I know. Maybe I need to check the cameras again? I'll leave the doors open. That's what I'll do. There we go. I wonder how many people working in convenience stores just, like, drink and eat things in the store. Then they don't pay for them. Like, I've wondered that before, like... I'm sure, like, fountain sodas and stuff like that the business doesn't really care about. But, like, I wonder how many times an employee will just, like, grab a soda off the shelf and drink it. You know? I've never actually worked at a convenience store, so I don't know. God, it's still midnight. Let's check the cameras again, I guess. I don't really know what else to do right now. So. It's like a weird line in front of the door over there. Strange. This camera's still all messed up. I can barely move it. I can barely move any of them, but They're outside the store, nothing's going on. Other outside the store. Maybe I need to go about back and check that out again. I did exercise the door though, so maybe the ghost is actually gone. Maybe I've won. I, I really don't know. I just want to get rid of this carton. Ugh, I want to get rid of all this trash. Wait, did I close the door? I don't remember if I closed the door or not. Ugh, what else am I supposed to do? What do you want me to do, game? Like, I don't... Maybe it wants me to pick this stuff up, but it's not giving me an option to, so... I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I'm gonna go back out. Check out the little spooky shack. See what's going on out there. Trash can. And the air conditioner is running again, at least. Spooktastic. Forgot I had a flashlight. It's over here, huh? Nothing. Plants. There's a bike. Can I ride the bike? This bike is mine now. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't steal someone's bike like that. But, uh, you know, I might take it if they were like, yes, the building belongs to the convenience store. We just haven't torn it down yet. There's a bike. Would you like it? I'd be like, yeah, I'll take that bike. You know? Okay, well, there's nothing to do. So, uh, what's that? Okay, well, there's a thing inside now. Oh, a wrench. Okay. Open AC. Why am I opening the AC? That guy obviously fixed it. What's this? A key? What the fuck's this key to? Why did he hide a key in there? What? Did the key go to the door? Oh my god, it does. Uh, there's a dead guy in here. Um. And the number four. 
manager. Oh, the door's shut. That's not good. Uh, there's a bunch of rats and a bunch of dead rats. Um, and one live one. That's not good. I put seals on the door. Fuck you. Should never open this goddamn door. Okay, hi, manager. I'd rather hang out with you than whatever's out there. Dude. You can stare at me all you want. And he actually does follow me. So. Okay, that's the point where I really wouldn't work here anymore. Uh, the cops are getting called. My ass is retiring. Um, I don't I don't care. I'm not working there anymore. That'd be dumb. F I, fuck this. I don't want to go back there. Oh, I thought I saw someone laying in my bed real fast. I was like, what? Oh, well, hello. What's this? Another tape? Great. Now, let's watch closely, I guess. I wonder what the number four was on there for. Maybe that meant the fourth night will be bad, or maybe four more nights? Yep, that's the door. Yep. Hello, game? Oh, okay, that was weird. Man, that's... What a nightmare. Was it all a dream? I don't know, but I wouldn't be going back there. Uh, I think, legitimately, if I was having dreams like this, I would quit the job. Because that's just my brain telling me something is not correct. About this job, right? Like, uh... Fuck that, dude. You can find another job. Like, working in a convenience store is not worth all this bullshit. Hopefully I can find my way back there as easily as I did last time. Um, I'm really bad when it comes to these kind of things like mazes and stuff. So I, I have like no natural skill at navigating a maze. So, you know, wait a minute, I went this way last time, didn't I? God, this flashlight's so dull. I think this is the right way to go. I think I just went down here and then turned left. Because this is pretty much a straight shot, I think. I don't think there's really any other little roads that go on and off. I think it was this way. I'm pretty sure it was this way. Could be wrong. Might be wrong. Probably wrong. Ah, oh, fuck yeah. God damn it. Now I have no clue where I'm going. This aesthetic for the visuals is kind of neat. It's like a washed out 90s VHS tape. Yeah, I kind of enjoy that. I think that different visual aesthetics really lend a lot to horror based stuff. Because, like, it, it seems like modern horror is very conceptual. Whereas horror from, like, the 90s or the 80s it is, like, I don't know, it just seems like that horror was, like, a height for horror. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I probably am. Also, I bet that motherfucker's hiding from me again. Okay, I'm prepared for it this time. Fuck you, guy. Oh, there's no... Hmm. That's weird. Let's check out CCTV right quick. I should have shut the door. I don't, I don't trust this place. Okay, fuck it. Let's go back there and check out the little building. That's where the game's leading me, anyway. But, uh, no, I, I can't really say, like, the 90s horror thing that I... Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Welcome to Silent Hill. What the fuck? Why is there all these TVs? Yeah, I guess we'll turn on all the TVs. But, uh, I don't know. 90s horror just... I don't, I don't get it. So it's a puzzle, I guess? 
But like 90s horror just has something interesting about it to me personally. Can I leave? Can't leave. Mark that question off. At least there's plenty of food here. I won't die from starvation. I'm fucking forced to stay in this place forever. Well, at least I won't die of starvation for a while, anyway. I'll just get drunk. Fuck it. Like, if I'm in a hellscape, I might as well get drunk. Oh, God. Alright, let's go back and check out the CCTVs. Maybe that'll help. It has before, so. Hey, look, the bar's gone. I guess I can just walk back here now. I'm gonna shut this door. I don't trust whatever's out there. I mean, I'm sure it can use a door, but still. Fuck that, right? Oh, I can't check out the... Oh, God, hello. There's like a child right there. Maybe he's going to the bathroom? There he is. Okay, so I need to turn on that TV, I guess. TV up there. God, I don't, I'm not sure which TV to turn on though, gosh dang it. I think there's five I have to turn on. Okay, I'm 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 so bad at this. All right, so hang on just a second here. Um, I am actually going to just look up the answer to this puzzle because I can't tell what TV he's looking at. To be completely honest with you, I have no clue which TVs he's looking at. Okay, so let's get out of here and try this right quick. Oh, oh, we're getting some weird lag all of a sudden. Okay. So back here. Then the first TV, so this one. Okay. Back out of that aisle and go to the next aisle on your right. The TV alone on the middle shelf after the first la or the first large stack of five TVs. So this one here, I think. Yeah. And then turn to the next aisle to your right. On your right, the first TV alone on the bottom shelf after a vert vertical stack of three TVs. So. this one. Back out of the aisle and go to the next aisle to your left. Like the three TVs, so... I'm gonna try and fix this lag here in just a minute, but right now I believe it's probably just because Chrome is on. Check behind the counter in the CCTV. Okay, wait a minute, did I miss one? that one. I'm hearing some creepy noises, so maybe I did get it. Okay. Yeah, no, okay. I got I got this, I think. So, get rid of Google. There we go. So, I got the TVs. Oh, well, I can't activate CCTV anymore. So, Did I 
do it right? Maybe I need to go back here now? Nope, it's still locked. Creepy lady. Whoa, what? Oh, okay. Maybe they ran back to the building? I don't- they don't seem to be especially dangerous or anything. Yes, I hear the door and I'll check it in a minute, but right now I want to check this. Okay, nothing. All right, let's get back in there and check the door. Oh, Mango sneezed. My poor little boy with his sneezy self. Okay, we're back to the real world. That's good, at least. Okay, I can't go behind the counter. Oh, there's just a videotape. Fourth night. What's this? What? What is going on here? Okay, maybe I need to make a decision here. Trash TV return to sender. Um, let's throw it in the trash. Yes. Are you? Yes, absolutely sure. I don't want any more part of this. I'm done. I'm moving on with my life. I'm moving out of this apartment, away from this convenience store, and I'm done. Like, I always feel like that should be an option in horror games, is to just walk away. So I enjoy that this game has given me that option. It's probably gonna lead to my untimely death, I'm sure, but uh, you know, at least it's an out. I don't have to deal with this shit anymore, you know? I I can't move. Fuck it, kill me, please. Let me be free of this bullshit. I don't particularly want to die, but if it means I'm not in the middle of this, I, I'll take it. Oh, there, there it is. And I guess I'm dead. And according to Steam Achievements, that was ending too. So, uh, you know... Game by Chilla's Art. So I wonder if this is a Japanese game that was translated to English, or if this is a uh, game just stylized like Japanese. Well, that's cool, there were some cameos. So, uh, all in all, that was kind of a neat little game. It was, it was a short little experience, clocked in at about an hour and 15 minutes. But, you know, it was neat. I enjoyed it. I'm always up for indie horror stuff like this, so, you know, it's, it's really cool that there's just a lot of it available out there. Especially on sites like Itch.io and uh, Game Jolt, just to throw out a couple names there. Um, anyway, so, this was the convenience store. Um... But, uh, you know, if you're interested in supporting this guy and his games, there's just the Patreon link. I'll go ahead and throw it in the description as well. And, uh, you know, thanks for playing, I guess. But I uh, thank you for watching this video and supporting the channel. Um, if you would like to leave a like, feel free. Uh, if you do subscribe, please, please, please hit that bell icon. Because YouTube is broke and it doesn't actually report notifications to people unless you hit the bell icon. I'm not begging for your subscriptions, your subscribes, your subscribbles. But, you know, it would be nice. So, uh, 
you know, if you feel like it's not out of your way, go ahead and leave a subscribe. Thank you, and I guess I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.